guys welcome back to the channel and for my new subscribers I just want to say thank you thank you for subscribing and to my old subscribers I just want to say thank you for always tuning in and watching my videos and don't forget to turn on your notification so you can see all my awesome videos that I'm gonna be dropping okay so today I'm gonna do something different okay I'm gonna be making a pim a soap for acne and acne, people with acne acne scars okay and for my base I'm gonna be using the this is a shea butter soap bar base so I'm just gonna grate it and you have to turn the stove down real low you can turn it up so it heats up but as soon as it is heat up properly you turn it on low because you don't want to burn the soap base and you don't want to kill all the properties why I'm using shea butter because I want the soap to have some moisture to it I don't want the soap can be drying but the shea butter as you know is very moisturizing for the skin and it has a lot of health benefits for the skin so that's why I choose to use shea butter and I'm also I'm not making a lot so and I am also going to use some of my African black soap in there because this is great for acne for any for rashes hyperpigmentation anything that you have for the skin the African black soap is amazing and these are all natural soap okay you can do the research for yourself to see okay so I'm gonna just let it melt for a couple minutes I don't know if you can see in the pot but it's already melting the shea butter is already melted so I'm just waiting for the um the black soap to also melt so they will blend together and then I'm gonna add in my my powders okay so I'll be back so guys the soap base has melted I don't know how to fix this camera so you can see the inside so I'm gonna start with the powder phase now and the first powder that I'm gonna be using is my neem powder and neem powder is from is, is from India and it's good for skin irritation it, it, it has antioxidants and it's also good for oral hygiene it says to prevent gingivitis inflammation plaque and it has essential fatty acid it's an Asian Indian herb that is used for healing and it is great for acne, pimple, any inflammation of the skin, any rashes, anything like that, any kind of skin disorder that you have. The neem powder is great for it. Okay, so I just put two teaspoonful of neem powder. And I'm also gonna put two teaspoons of liquorice extract. Licorice extract is a natural lightening agent that will help to lighten the pimples, the scars of the acne, and it is also great to treat acne. Okay, and the next one we're gonna use is Indian gooseberry powder. This is also great for acne, and it also great for lightening the skin. It will help to lighten it. Acne scars, and this is a berry powder too. This is also great for acne, and it's also great for lightening the acne scars. Okay, 
and over here is the baby of all babies the turmeric powder hey this one is powerful this is great for any skin problem that you have and it is also a lightening agent so it's going to help to lighten the acne scars and it's going to give you beautiful glowing skin i love me some turmeric i can make nothing without turmeric okay so that's this for all the powders i think i need another spoonful of neem powder I need another lean powder. Okay. And now we are gonna go to the oils. Okay. Oh, my cinnamon powder. I forgot my cinnamon powder, people. You can get this at Walmart. And it's organic. Make sure when you're using products, you use pure organic products, okay? Because that will make Make whatever you make in work best. I can't take this thing off. So pure organic is always best. So I'm gonna just add a teaspoon of um, cinnamon powder. This is good for inflammation. It's great for treating acne, hyperpigmentation, whatever condition you have of the skin cinnamon powder is great for it too and it's very good so that was the powder phase oh i have one more powder so i add my neem oil i'm gonna add some aloe vera oil you know aloe vera oil is very good for the skin very good for the hair moisturizes the skin and it will help with the acne and then the other one is the sunflower oil I'm gonna add a teaspoon as well and then the other one I'm gonna use is jojoba oil this is very great for the skin this will glow your skin you hear me this oil is amazing for the skin you can buy a lotion, any lotion, and just mix it with any of these carrier oils and use it on your skin. And trust and believe me, your skin will be amazing. Okay? Oh, this is rose hip oil. This is also a natural, a natural lightening oil. You can do your research on it for yourself too. All the oils that I'm telling you about. I will leave them in the description and you can go and Google and Google it for yourself. Don't let me tell you. You can do the research for yourself, okay? And I also add in tea tree oil. You know, tea tree oil is very great for the skin and also for the hair. I'm just going to add half teaspoon of tea tree oil because it is very strong and can be overpowering. And then I'm also going to add this oil. It's called propylene glyco and propylene glyco is gonna make all the products come together and makes it make it penetrate in the skin faster and better okay so I'm gonna add two teaspoon two teaspoon of propylene glyco okay and then I'm gonna add some sandalwood essential oil I'm gonna add that last I'm gonna add some vitamin E oil so it's a hundred percent pure vitamin E oil and you everybody know vitamin E oil is great for the skin makes your skin moisturized soft and supple like a baby's butt okay it is great for the skin and I'm just gonna add some essential oil and that's all the products we're gonna be adding and last but not least some honey 
some honey baby everybody know honey is amazing it helps to treat inflammation it helps to glow the skin honey is just amazing and remember guys you can't add too much oil because it will prevent the soap from sudding okay I'm just gonna mix everything together now come together nicely and then I'm gonna pour it out into my um, into my soap mold okay I'm just gonna let all the ingredients sit here for a minute Make sure you mix it in well so everything combines together very well. So everything has been melted nicely. So now I'm just going to add some lavender oil 100% pure lavender oil just for spend okay Ooh, okay i guess didn't want to go through the spoon so that's the last thing and then i'm just gonna stir in that mm, it smells so good anybody know about lavender Lavender smell. Lavender is very calming, very relaxing. When you want to unwind after a long day, anything lavender, chamomile, that will do the trick. So everything is all mixed, bl blended. And now I'm just going to um, transfer it to my bowl. Not to my bowl, to my mold so it's already washed and clean but i'm just gonna sanitize it with some alcohol i have some alcohol in my spray bottle because when it comes to cosmetic and things especially that goes on people's skin and face especially the face of all places you have to make sure everything is clean and sanitized before you start working you have to clean your area and make sure it is sanitized get your lights out or your bleach or whatever you have and make sure you clean and sanitize your work area properly okay because when it comes to people's skin there's no joke you can joke with it because you can have a good product and because your pro your equipment are not clean they will break your customer's skin out so you have to be careful okay so now i'm just gonna pour it i'm gonna give it one last stir and then i'm gonna pour it out into into the mold I think this will give me two pour it into the mold while it's hot okay because as soon as it starts to cool down it's gonna start to form into a soap so you have to put it in there while it's hot so it can mold okay and usually molding doesn't take take long in like two hours or so it will be ready Hard to 
tightness on your thighs. Don't let it like temperature drop. It starts to harden. You have to pour it in while it's hot, hot, and liquidy. Okay. So guys, I will come back and show you the finished product, okay? But so far, so good. So guys, the soap has been finished molded. So I'm just going to take it from the mold. And I'm just going to just pop it out like this. Very easy and simple. And this is what it looks like. You see how pretty that is? It looks like something that you can eat, right? See? It is so pretty. I really like it. It looks like a chocolate bar or something. Something like that that you can eat. And this is the next one. They're the same. They're the, they're the same design. That's what it looks like. This one is a little bit flatter. So that's what it looks like, guys. And then I just wrap them in film wrap and just put a little decorative bow on it like that and trim it up. And that's how I send it to the customer. And that's it guys it's very easy and simple you can make it for yourself at home if you want to if you suffer from acne hyperpigmentation dark spots acne scars and anything like that you can buy the ingredients on Amazon eBay or wherever you shop you can buy all those products that I use in there okay and make sure it's 100% organic oils okay all those carrier oils make sure they are 100% organic so guys that's it for this video thank you so much for tuning in again to another video I hope you like it don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and don't forget to turn on that post notification bell that's in the corner because that's how you're gonna know when i upload my next video okay and always just keep prayed up and live your best life because we only get one shot at this life right so why not live the best that we can right thank you bye Mwah.